I'm gonna make my designer fans life super easy. I'm gonna put you on to six, just six, because attention spans are short. Six, 10 out of 10. This is what I would rate these fragrances. 10 out of 10 designer fragrances that you need in your collection. These are fragrances that just hit every little sexy spot that I'm looking for that can easily get you the compliments your little heart desires. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to six, 10 out of 10 designer fragrances. I'm kind of a big Blessed well, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. So I'm going to jump right into this list again. These are fragrances that are 10 out of 10s, in my opinion. Might not be your opinion, but it is my opinion. If you guys follow my channel for a consistent amount of time and you find that our noses really match up, then these are fragrances that either you have in your collection, have thought about getting, or maybe can sample to see if they flow off of your skin 10 out of 10. The first one is a Mass Appeal DNA that everybody knows and loves, only this is a flanker, one of their newest renditions, and that's by the House of Dior, and that's Dior Sauvage. Elixir. Elixir is just the more mature version of the other Sauvages. For me, this one just hits this beautiful vetiver coffee style vibe that is more sexy than the other ones. More mature, more experienced. This dude done fucked a bunch of broads before getting into the committed relationship, eh? He knows what he's doing. This isn't a rookie. He's not just dilly dallying up and down the bars. He's spitting true gaming with the ultimate lingual finesse. He's like, bili bili bili, and they're like, ah! That's it, that's what Dior Sauvage is. It's got that game, it's got that maturity, it's got that confidence, it's got that sex appeal. Why get any others? Just get this one, it's a 10 out of 10, next one. So I'm gonna use a substitute just for video purposes only, but it's by the house of Terry Mugler and it's pure malt. This is not pure malt, but it looks like this, but just go for the pure malt version because my shit got ruined in my move and it, I don't know what happened. It's, it was so fucking good. It was such a beautiful, boozy, coffee, patchouli fragrance with that Amen DNA that we love. It was really affordable at a time. I actually have it in the shopping cart as we speak, so I will be back in my collection. Pure malt is crazy. The only problem, if I had any complaint which would take it away from being a 10 out of 10, would be the packaging because these little stupid atomizers are like duct taped together and whenever they're closed like this, they're shit. So what you have to do is take out a knife because this one doesn't have it and I'll show you. You go right around the edge and you cut this motherfucker because this, you see how it dribbles out? It's trash, right? So you go, you cut this hole right here, you know what I'm saying? You go in. Like if you stabbing somebody, do a little cut. I mean, if you got an exacto knife, it'd be better. But you kind of go up in this bitch right here. Yeah, yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah, stab you, motherfucker. You took my three dollars and my lunch in high school, you piece of shit. Sorry. So you stab it here. Little couple of incisions. I mean, this isn't the best fucking tool to do it with, but trust me, you'll see what difference it's gonna make shortly after stabbing this fucking thing. All right, we're almost there. Trust me, an X-Acto knife or a razor blade, box cutter, you know, whatever you Puerto Ricans have in your pockets would be a lot easier than this. Now, a lot easier. So you just stab the shit out of it to make it usable. But pure malt is a 10 out of 10. R.I.P. Terry Mugler, next one. I never would have thought that this designer would have made it in any 10 out of 10 fragrance but I really, really, really like this one. It's by the house of Victor and Rolf, and this one is Spice Bomb Infrared. This spicy bitch works wonders off of my skin. There's like 78,000 different types of peppers in here. It's beyond peppery, but it's also sweet, sexy, and tobacco. This one is fucking lit. I don't like the original. It just doesn't do it for me. The original Spice Bomb, just felt super juvenile, and it's probably traumatic that everybody wore it around me back in my youthful days. This is not that. It has somewhat of the DNA, which is loved by a ton of people, but this one is super special. Again, 
mad spicy, a little sweet. It's got a nice, thick, robust pipe tobacco-ish kind of smell, and a little bit of cinnamon, I believe, is the note that's in there. This is a 10 out of 10 off of my skin. Definitely try it if you haven't already. Next one. This might be the best designer oud that I've encountered at least this year. Armani's Stronger With You Oud. Ah, oudy, vanillic, lavender, sweet, thick, powerful, sexy, caramel, kind of sugary, sweet, but in the right balance with the right oomph of power around it. This is remarkable, and I'm just hoping for fall to get here a little bit quicker, said no one ever, but fall is my favorite season, so fuck it. I'm hoping for fall to get here a little bit quicker so I can wear this and really see what this does. I wanna spray one of those nice Middle Eastern scarves there. I'm gonna bring those shits back, really extra puffy with the nice little tassels and shit hanging off of it. I wanna spray that down and see how fly this will smell in the fucking fall. Oof, get it. It's gonna be tough to get because it's sold out a thousand times, but just keep it on your watch list because this is awesome. Next one. The King of Iris, you know it, I know it, only this is the best flanker possible. It's Dior Om Parfum. It's just the best. There's no questions asked. If you liked the Dior Om DNA, just put it to the side. Set it and forget it. Parfum, get it immediately perfect date night and going out fragrance this is just for date night vibes this is just to court a woman this is just to show people that i stand out from the rest and trust me we don't smell the same we not the same phenomenal 10 out of 12. this is so fucking good next one this is a sleeper probably the most slept on designer leathery fragrance that there is slept on still probably cheap because it had maybe a 10 second moment of popularity and then it just dwindled away like nobody cared about it this is fan defendi pour on awesome 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 sweet leather fragrance it's got everything it's got woods it's got sweetness it's got leather it's got a slight incense vibe a little bit of a boozy rum kind of accord in here so good, performs extremely well. Even the EDT or EDP concentrations, they're both living in the same space as cheapy, designer, sexy, grenade, banger fragrance. That is a 10 out of 10 in my collection. If you haven't smelled this one, you slacking, and that's fine. We all sleep sometimes, all right? Loser. So these are six fragrances that are 10s out of 10 designer in my collection. There's obviously more. 10 out of 10s that I can choose. And if you wanna see more 10 out of 10s, leave the comment below, smash the thumbs up button, finger the subscribe, share with all your peoples, cause these next couple of months, daddy wants to get to 100K. I want a plaque so I can pierce my nipples on camera. Oh, that'd be fucking weird. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know if you wanna see the niece version of my 10 out of 10 and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game, smooches. Who I know, who I know, who I know, what's fresh, who is best, one of them's gonna pass the test, who I know, for the fly gun, hold a money folder, roller roller, star tag, when it's time to call back, for the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you